Hi, my name is Lee. I am the team lead for the Lunabox team and also the computer science team lead for the teams. Lunabox is a competition that we work with NASA on the next step forward in our mission in space, which is towards the moon, with the idea of a permanent colony on the moon for research. The competition varies year on year. So for example, this year it's focused on making berms. Berms are essentially walls uh, that are made using construction robots like the one over here. The idea behind it is that when a rocket lands from the moon, it spews matter everywhere. And lunar dust, which we have a sample of right here, is very uh, fine and coarse. So it's very tiny, but very coarse. So it destroys a lot of the more sensitive materials that NASA has. So with a berm, it sort of acts like a um, tsunami wall where it blocks the dust from hitting the very sensitive tents, robotics, and electrical equipment that they have. We have 19 members currently. Uh, most of those are in the mechanical team, but we do have a couple of people working on the electrical computer science side. So the plow, this is the workhorse of the entire robot. It's the thing that actually picks it up. So we are planning to have it so it moves kind of like a you know caterpillar uh, bulldozer. So it picks the stuff up, we have it move up, and then it dumps it. The Kinect acts as a video camera and depth sensor. Those are both important, the video camera so we can get the raw actual stuff for human eyes because we're not automating this here. The video camera allows us to see the actual image and the depth sensor is important because it allows us to see how far apart things are because static images or even videos, it's a lot harder to see how far away something is and the Kinect allows us to see how close and far it is using the color data that it gives us. Working with the students at UCF is very chaotic. One day, you are, you know, very organized, and then all of a sudden you find out there's a complete change to the plan and you need to spend the next three or four hours doing this one specific thing. But that allows for a lot of creativity to flow through, and overall, we just get better ideas through that way with a move fast and break things mindset that we had. So, for example, halfway through uh, the first semester, we had this plan for, from last year, of a, another design for a plow, it was big, heavy, and clunky, and I took a big look at it with the mechanical team, and I just said, no, we're going from scratch. And as a result, we got a far better product, which met the specifications much better. UCF has helped provide a lot of the tools to help do this. Most of the stuff we actually have for the robotics competition, we actually had in-house already made for us, so we didn't actually need to make too much outside of custom parts, which we wouldn't get able to get anyways. But also the fact that UCF is Exlith Labs is run by UCF students allows us special access to it, which helps us you know, with competition. We're able to get some repetitions in beforehand on the actual uh, testing environment before we get into the competition proper. And most importantly, I wanna give a huge thanks to my team at UCF. It simply would not be possible without all my team members. I certainly could not do this all by myself. And Every week I'm hearing something new and you know, novel when it comes to how to approach a project, which I would think I never would have thought of that. And it just really helps to move the project forward with these people uh, helping me each step along the way and putting in the hours, most importantly. Sometimes I will say, okay, we have to do, go in for an extra few hours. And they're always there to help me and be with me to get through the finish line because I know they're just as committed to the project as I am. So I do really want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to you guys for all the help they gave me.